Okay, so we're talking about how reactions change their behavior at different temperatures and how we might calculate that. Well, we already talked about the uh, kind of intensive calculation that you have to do if you want to rigorously determine how the uh, temperature change impacts your reaction Ka. Um, but that's a bit of a pain and um, might actually be more work than is worth it. So let me give you an alternative version. This alternative version uh, is called the shortcut Van't Hoff equation. I'll write that out in a second. Um, and it goes like this. Don't, for, oh, don't let me forget that negative sign. That negative sign is kind of super duper important. And what do we see here? So this is short cut Vant Hoff. And um, you might recognize this as a pretty good approximation from the first term of an integration, right? This, this looks like something you've seen in math classes before. So this right here is uh, what you get when you sum up the stoichiometric coefficients and all the delta H of formation from the back of the book. You've done that before. We did it uh, a while ago. R is still R. And then uh, we're correcting the temperature by taking uh, the temperature we are uh, curious about and then kind of subtracting off uh, one over the reference temperature. And what we get is uh, it allows us to correct Ka, which is the one of interest over here, uh, relative to the reference Ka. Now you'll notice we're sitting inside uh, a natural log, so we've got an exponential factor here. So small changes out here on the right-hand side can lead to really big changes over there on the left, and you will see this shortly uh, as you play with this equation. So what are we assuming here in this shortcut? Because this is like this is super convenient, right? This is like way easier than doing all that uh, CP integration stuff. Uh, well, what we are assuming is that the delta H of reaction um, uh, is not a strong function of temperature. And this not being a strong function of temperature comes from uh, kind of at its basis, uh, the CP term, same for uh, products and reactants. And so that's a really good assumption if you have uh, chemicals that are kind of similar in shape, size, and behavior on the left-hand side and the right-hand side, um, and is less good if you have some really, really big substantial change uh, that is happening uh, as your chemicals come together. So probably this is a really good approximation for something like our model reaction, where we have steam and methane and carbon monoxide and hydrogen, which are all pretty small and um, have uh, somewhat, not, not entirely, but somewhat similar behavior. Water is the outlier there, but the rest of them are kind of well behaved. Um, and it would be a lousy model for something like, say, polymerization. All right, let's do the example. All right, you saw this coming. We are uh, going to do some work with this reaction, by the way. Uh, so it would uh, behoove you to set up a spreadsheet where you can calculate things about this reaction pretty quickly and easily. Um, but what I would just want you to do is give me two temperatures. Give me the temperature where you get Ka to be kind of a, a reasonable number instead of a tiny little number. And let's say our reasonable value is 0 0.01. Um, and I want you to find Ka of 0 0.01. What temperature does that happen? from both the 
full calculation, don't do it by hand. Go ahead and use kcalc for that. Um, and by shortcut, uh, which I want you to do quote unquote by hand. And what I mean by by hand is um, you know, use your calculator. Use a spreadsheet if you want to, if that makes you happy. Um, note, uh, your KA ref um, is kind of important here. And remember, that's a very, very small number. So make sure you, you write in that small number uh, with, with a reasonable amount of accuracy uh, because it goes into this equation and will have an impact on how, um, how much the Ka uh, at our better temperature um, changes. So make sure you've got that in there. Um, and go ahead and answer that in your mini quiz. And that is uh, what you're doing for today. Thanks a lot, everybody.